do that. So Lord, we just want to begin right now by saying thank you. Thank you for uh, causing us to become aware of your greatness, your goodness, your everlasting wonders, Lord. And God, that we get to come to you and say thank you for all that you've given to us. Uh, Lord, all your provisions and, and especially for the cross. And Lord, as we uh, get going on this meeting this morning, I just pray that you to anoint each speaker to say just the right things, Lord, to, to open our minds to the opportunities before us. Lord, that we would be strengthened in our inner person to uh, rise up and, and catch on to things and commit to things. And Lord, that there be a, a, a new uh, fervor in our hearts both for uh, the things of God and, and Lord, how Neo life is part of that because we get to help people to, to feel better, to find truth. And, and Lord, for all the other ways, God, that, that you are involved in this company and in our lives. So we just thank you for the country we still have and for the hope that never dies. We thank you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you very, very much, Jamie. appreciate that. And um, got a few announcements here, you guys. Uh, the Wis Wisdom Builder Retreat is, starts next Friday. And if you are not going to be there live, right now we have three from our team that are going to be there in Alabama. Um, but if you're not going to be there live, I can't encourage you strong enough to go to wbretreat.com, uh, excuse me, wbretreatvirtual.com because you can uh, sign up to watch everything live and then you'll get the recordings as well, which is tremendous. And uh, just to tell you from a, a two diamond, Louis Smith says, if you don't go, you won't grow. Okay, so it's just very important. Louis says we need to be at every Neo Life event if we intend to grow our, our impact, our volume, our income, uh, because these things are just so incredibly valuable. And the people in our team who have the largest teams are the ones who have been to the most uh, either conventions or uh, weekend events. So that's next weekend. Uh, can't encourage you strong enough. Go to wbretreatvirtual.com. Dot com so you can watch live and then you can get the recordings okay and then one other announcement today at 11 we'll have our nutrition time and that that zoom is 963-644-1807 and the password is atp so that will be at 11 product training i'll say it one more time 963-644-1807 and password atp and um uh, I think we should start with Lisa because I'm not sure how long we'll have the privilege of having her on, but this is for wins right now. And um, Lisa and her husband had a quite a re, uh, momentous event, uh, step up to Sapphire to world team. And they were rewarded with a remarkable uh, reward, great experience. And so Lisa, could you take three to five minutes and just tell us about what that was like to be there? Yes, absolutely. Can you hear me? Yes, very clear. Praise the Lord, all the way from Mexico. <laughs> um, yes, it was, we were absolutely stunned to step up to Sapphire. Um, the first I realized it had happened is I got an email and, and I just sat there on the couch, just speechless for minutes on end. Like how, <laughs> it was just such a shock and such a blessing to us. Um, and it's from our team in the US, even though we're currently living in Mexico. So it just shows the power of an international business and residual income because the, the step up came from business that I did 10, 12 years ago, because I'm, I'm not working it very much right now. As you can see, I have three, three kids under the age of four and a half. <laughs> and so um, getting to go to world team vacation was it was a dream come true um, in the Dominican Republic, uh, just a beautiful setting. We had a swim out room, which has always been a dream of mine. I've always looked at, you know, people that had swim out rooms and been like, oh, 
I, I want to have one of those someday, you know, when we are staying at a hotel or resort and, and that dream came true and we had a beautiful ocean view. And it was really like being there with a big family because people were helpful with the kids um, and helping to take care of them, entertain them, uh, uh, loving on them. And the, the environment was very um, welcoming for us as first timers. And um, they had a wonderful uh, training at the, what was it called? The breakfast. Oh, do you remember what it was called, <laughs> Bob? Breakfast, breakfast huddle or breakfast gathering. Yes, breakfast huddle. I thought that was a great name for it because it felt it was very personal. Um, they, uh, Kendra spoke, Louie spoke, Alan spoke. Um, we had a wonderful fellowship together. And <laughs> okay, don't bump me. Okay, mommy's trying to hold the phone still. And uh, they gave us sunglasses. Uh, we got to pick out a pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses uh, from the different styles that they had there. And um, it, there's just so much that I could say. It was overwhelming. And we we're just so blessed to be able to, to get to go and to take our three kids and that my husband got to come with me and yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Great. So uh, we're we're very blessed to have you, and so happy that you got to experience that. Um, great. How was the food? It was good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't was get to try enough? the French restaurant, but I heard it was the best best in the place. I know Daniel went there. I couldn't go because it was a fine dining experience. <laughs> no babies allowed, which I completely understand. <laughs> but yeah. yeah yeah okay good well lisa we're very excited to have you and roberto and you know the neil life family you said you were warmly received uh the last night i saw your husband talking at length to greg morrow greg morrow is one of the diamonds and it's very heartwarming to see the very high level people mixing with all of us uh so you you noticed that too the the warmth of the of the group right Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I got my sunset glasses on from down there. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Lisa, congratulations on that. We we congratulate you and uh thanks for sharing with us. And um Barbara and Leslie were also there. Why don't you each take two minutes and then we'll bring Stephen on? Can you both take two minutes and tell about your experience down there? Barbara, you want to sure. go first? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I just want to say that the future is really bright. Oops. I've got Teresa's sound going too. see if I can get it out of the way. So it's not double recording. <laughs> anyway, um, we got really excited when Ashley did the talk about this is for everybody. This isn't just for you special guys at the top. We we want you all in Hawaii next year. And Lisa said, I'm bringing three Sapphire directors with me next year. Daniel, Teresa, and Marina. <laughs> and so I thought, whoa, <laughs> she's thinking bigger than me. I was pretty excited about that. Yes, yes. OK, wonderful, wonderful. Um, Barbara, how about you? Well, good morning, everyone. It was such an exciting vacation. Um, I love the atmosphere and it had everything for each individual personality. So if you wanted to be have quiet time and I love quiet time, I was able to experience that. When you're ready to huddle, you can huddle. So those choices were already there. Um, it was great to see new faces and and faces that I've seen before on such a journey. And the goal now is to three individuals on our team um, working to get to be with us in Hawaii next year, Waikiki Beach. And of course, I enjoy the swimming. That is just my passion. So thank you, New Year Life, and enjoy the, the breakfast, as um, Lisa mentioned, that little huddle. 
that was awesome hearing from Ashley and um, Stephen. I really, things clicked and, and I had to have quiet moments to figure it out, but I enjoyed it and thank you. Okay, well, it was wonderful having you, Barbara. And I think this is Barbara's third, I believe. The first one was Cabo, the second was the big island of Hawaii. And she got invited last year to Cancun, but I was, didn't go, either did I. And then this year, this was your third event, right, Barbara? Yes. So good, yes. so congratulations, <laughs> congratulations. Okay, you Thank guys, you. Uh, one, one last announcement. Um, Jamie, is Chelsea on to share her win or is she not on? Welcome, Brent, good to see you there. Okay, well, uh, what we'll do then, I'm just gonna announce Kendra will be with us uh, the first Saturday in December. So that's our next BOC. And right now we're gonna move to uh, our new Vice President of Field Development, uh, Stephen Whitwell. He is a warm, kind person, very encouraging. Uh, it's a high honor to be hired by Kendra. I'm telling you that, it's a high honor. And she chose Stephen and he's got years of experience in our industry. And I think he's gonna be a huge help to our team. Like I said, he's got a beautiful heart and uh, very kind and a great encourager. So you guys, let's welcome our new Vice President of Field Development, Mr. Stephen Whitwell. Perfect, hey, thank you so much, Bob. And also wanna say just congratulations to everyone that I know that has shared so far that was on the, that earned and was on the world team vacation. And um, Leslie, as you said, uh, the goal, the goal is for everyone we can to have as many people, the largest um, 2023 North America incentive trip to Hawaii that we've ever had. And I mean, blow out record number of people that are earning that, the 2023 incentive trip to Hawaii next year. And it's as simple as getting to the world team. So if you're trying to figure out what that is, get with your leader to figure out how to get to the world team as soon as possible so you can be in Hawaii um, on the 2023 incentive trip next year, as, as Leslie mentioned. It, we want to see everyone there. And um, I, as Bob mentioned, I've been in this industry for 11 years and have put together countless, I mean, literally countless number of incentive trip qualifications and criteria. And I truly do believe that we have the best, simplest criteria to earn a trip by just getting to Sapphire. I, it, it, you, you don't have to compete with anybody else. It's not like the, you know, most time it's not like the top 30 with the most new growth get to go. No, it, you're not competing against anybody but yourself to be in Hawaii. Um, and so it, make that a goal next year to get to the world team, to get to Sapphire director um, as fast as you can to be on that trip. So that being said, I'm going to, that was not what I was going to dive into. I'm really excited to dive into just a couple of things. One of which is I'm so honored to be on here in November. And the reason is, is I believe that right now we are in the most critical and important time in your business and Neo life of the entire year. Um, I, I really do believe that what you do in your business in the fourth quarter of the year will absolutely, and, and more importantly, the fourth quarter, what you do in November and December, even more so, will determine how your 2023 starts and will probably determine what the first half of your year looks like next year. So if you have aspirations for your business to grow in 2023 in the first half of the year, if you have aspirations to increase your income in the first half of 2023, if you have a desire to rank up or step up to a new rank in the first half of 2023, it really all is going to come about of what we do right now over the next 60 days in our business. Um, let me tell you what not to do. What a lot of people make the mistake of letting happen is they get distracted during this time of the year. They get distracted. And I, I want to say that good distractions are okay. You know, being with your family and Thanksgiving and Christmas, and of course, there's going to be some vacations and the New Year's. But don't get distracted and procrastinate for two months with the mindset and think that I'm going to get started in January. I'm really going to get focused in January in growing my business. I'm going to wait till after Thanksgiving and Christmas and, and the holidays and 
and New Year's and, you know, being with family and all of those things. And then I will, I'll get really focused on sharing meal life. I'll get really focused on growing my business when January comes around. I'll be honest, it'll be too late. Because what happens in January is a result of what you do in November and December. If we don't put the work in in November or December, when we get to January, our pipeline is going to be empty and we'll have zero activity and momentum to carry us into 2023. But if we are active and working and sharing meal life in November and December, and you're filling your pipeline like crazy with lots of activity that I'll get into in just a second, watch out what happens when January rolls around in the first half of 2023. So just want to encourage you with that right there, that mindset of um, what you do now in this season, November, December will determine what your 2023 is going to look like. So uh, I want to encourage you to, to limit the distractions right now, stay focused um, and make sure that we are, we are in massive action when it comes to sharing and prospecting in our Neo Life business. Okay, then the second thing I want to say before I share my screen here in a second is, is just want to remind everyone that I believe 90% of this business is from the neck up. 90% of this business is from the neck up. It's our, it's our mindset and it's our, and it's our mentality. Um, and and I, I believe this. I believe this business is simple, but not easy. I believe what we do is simple, but not easy. You know, what, what do we do? We, we get on products, right? And we, get, we, we become a product of the products ourselves. And then what do we do? We share our story. We, we, and when we, when I say, you know, share your story or, or, and I say, you know, share with others, sometimes we don't know exactly what we mean by here. I, there's th when you're sharing real life with others, there's three things that you want to share with them. You want to share what you are doing, why you are doing it and the results that you're seeing. That's, that, that's what, when we say share your story, where it's what you're doing, why you're doing it and the results that you're, that you're seeing. That's what we say when we go out there and we're going to share our story. But the, the business is simple. We, we, are, we are, first and foremost, we're a product of the products ourselves, right? We use the products um, and, and we're a product of the product. And we take that product experience and we take the experience of being a business partner in Neo Life and we go share our story. We go share our story of what we're doing in regards to utilizing the, the Neo Life products, what we're doing to earn extra income with Neo Life. We share why we're doing it. Why are we using these products? You know, why are we building a business on the side to produce an income? You know, maybe it's to pay off debt. Maybe it's to replace an income. Maybe it's to have retirement. But we share, you know, why we're doing it. We share the results that we're seeing from it. Um, so that's what we say. That's, that's what we say when we say share your story. So we, we, we're a product of the products. We share our story. Third, we get people we've shared our story with in front of our leader for third party credibility so that the leader can validate to your prospect everything you've already told them. It's amazing what happens when you have a prospect that you introduce to your leader and your leader is able to validate your story about how the products work, how the products are effective, how the products get people results and how there is an opportunity to earn income. You know, that's what you, that's the thing that you want to prospect. That's what they want to know. Do the products work? Do the products get people results? Will I get results if I use the products? And if I decide to share them, can I make money? And you'll share that in your story, but your leader can validate that as third party credibility. And we all know when, you know, if, when you hear something from somebody that you don't know, it, it, you know, it's like if, you have, if you're a parent, like you tell your kids all the time about something and they go hear it from a teacher or from someone else. And it's like the first time they've ever heard it. That's exactly what it's like in our business. So we get on products. We share our story of the, of what's happening. We get people in front of our leaders for third party credibility, whether that's being a face-to-face -face meeting or a zoom meeting or over the phone or, you know, whatever it may be. And then what do we do? Well, it's all about figuring out what that person wants. That we're, that we're talking to, that prospect, we figure out what does that person want? Do they want weight loss? Do they want energy? Do they have a specific health solution they need? Um, or are they wanting to eliminate debt or to, you know, do they need more money to pay their bills? We figure out what that person needs 
and then we help them get what they need. And then that's on repeat. We're, we're a product of the products. We share our story of our product results and our income with prospects. We, inter we introduce them to our leader for third party credibility and whatever form we figure out what that prospect needs, um, whether it's weight loss, energy, a specific health solution, or if it's income or debt elimination, and then we help them get what they need and then repeat. That is, that's what we do here. We use the products. We talk to people. We introduce them to our leader for third party credibility. We figure out what their need is and we help them get that need. That, that's our, that's the system. Um, and so that's why I say it's simple, but not easy. If you can do that right there, if you can be a product of the products, if you can go talk to people and share your story, if you can then introduce those individuals that you talk to that are interested to, to a leader or for somebody for third party credibility, and then figure out what they want and help them get it. And then you do that on repeat. There's no uh, limit to where you can take this business and this opportunity. Um, so I just, I, I wanted to mention that. And then um, let me see, there's something, uh, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to share my screen real quick. And I want to, I want to dive into um, a very, just real quick. I want to dive into what I believe is the most important thing for most promoters and distributors right now in Neo Life for growing their business. And uh, let's see, here it is. And so I'll share my screen. And so I believe going back to what we just talked about, that if the, the lifeblood of your business in Neo Life and the rocket fuel for growth, if you're wanting to grow, all comes back to recruiting. And recruiting is just a fancy word for saying helping people get started. That's what recruiting is. Recruiting is basically helping other people get started in Neo Life, helping them get started as a club member who want to get started on products and help people get started as a promoter or a business partner who want to earn income. And I will tell you right now, we could not be in a better time and a better position with Neo Life to meet those two needs. I believe that roughly 90% of success comes down to three things in this business. Timing, positioning, times momentum. It's the timing in the marketplace, the positioning of the company, times the momentum you create equals success. And when it comes to recruiting and helping new people get started, the timing couldn't be better. We all know this. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like preaching to the choir here. There are so many people in North America, the United States and Canada, who need our products more than ever. We have the vast majority of people overweight or obese. We have the vast majority of people that are um, overfed and undernourished. We have the vast majority of people that are looking for solutions to get fit, to get healthy energy, to feel better. Um, they're looking for immune support. There's so many, and we have solutions. There's never been a better timing for our products in the marketplace. Um, and then with that being said, we also know this. There's probably... We're probably in one of the top five time periods in the last 30 years right now for people who need a financial solution with, you know, uh, many people believe that we are in or we are very close to going into a recession. We know that uh, inflation is, is absolutely killer. When you go to the, the grocery store or go to the gas pump or go anywhere, the cost of everything has skyrocketed. Um, we know that wage increases and in, uh, people's pay has not kept up with the pace of inflation. So people don't have the money they, they used to have to be able to pay their bills. So people are struggling financially. People don't have enough money to pay their bills. People um, are living paycheck to paycheck. Most people are going either, in, they're already in debt or they're going further in debt. Um, and people need a solution that like we have. So don't be, be bold about the opportunity to earn income in Neo Life. Um, specifically, I love the word that um, Lisa said, which is the residual income, which is what most companies and most opportunities cannot give people is a residual income like Neo Life. And then, you know what? People talk about, you know, worry about going into a recession. Here's my experience in, in our industry. We can do good in good times. 
we can do good in good times. When the economy is good, we can do good in neo life. You can do good in your business because people have discretionary income to spend on, on products. But we can do great. And most companies do great in our industry during down economic times because people then are looking for financial solutions and they're hungry and they're willing to go to work to earn extra income. And we've got a program that people are willing to go to work to help them earn that additional income. So when I come back to this whole idea of helping people get started and the timing and the positioning in Neo Life couldn't be better, I'm telling you, we've got a wide open marketplace in North America of people who need to hear our message when it comes to the product solutions and the financial solutions that we offer. And that's what we do. We offer, we offer health solutions and we offer financial solutions and people are looking for those things. They need those things. And you got a message that will resonate. And I'll tell you this on the, the, the opportunity, that the, the financial solution. Right now, people are really going to be hyper aware of their financial solution, of their, of their financial need for a solution. Because we're going into the holiday season, which means they're, they're having to, you know, Thanksgiving, travel, Christmas gifts. Most of the time, this is where people start to either go further in debt or they start to really realize how in debt they are. And you've got a financial solution to help people be able to have a credit card free Christmas, to be able to have a cash for do a cash for Christmas with an opportunity like Neo Life. People are going to start really uh, looking at their finances, and they're going to see the glaring need for a solution. And you have that solution. So I want to go back to this idea of recruiting is rocket fuel for growth in your business. If you want to grow your business, the key to growing your business is all about helping new people get started. And so I wanna give you this as kind of a, um, an encouragement for the month of November. Think about the power of three. There's nothing better you can personally do for your business in November than to personally recruit at least three new people this month. And you know we have the watch party box incentive that came out, which is ex in line with this, which is awesome, which is if you get two new uh, club members started and one new promoter, we're going to send you a watch party box so you can host, host a watch party for our virtual events in January. But regardless of the watch party box incentive, that's secondary. Primary is, is if you can go focus on prospecting and recruiting and personally help at least three new people get started this month, you'll know that you have hit an incredible target for your business. And then uh, I want to encourage you with this. A lot of people always ask me, Stephen, Stephen, where should I spend my time in building my business? Where should I spend my time? And I, I've learned from amazing leaders that 80% of your time should be spent in the prospecting and recruiting activities, talking to people, sampling, you know, doing one-on-one -on -one meetings, doing, you know, getting people into third-party credibility situations. You know, the one thing that this business cannot be, that cannot be done in this business is manage. You cannot manage a direct selling business. If you think of managing a direct selling business is equal, to, is equal to a declining direct selling business. Management equals decline in our business. So if you ever feel like you're, in a, you're just trying to manage your business, you know that you're then in a decline phase of your business. This business is all about leading your business. And what does leading look like? That means that you are personally out there uh, setting the example for yourself and for your team by spending 80% of your time prospecting and recruiting, basically talking to new people about Neo Life and following up with people that you've talked to in the past. That's 80% of your time right there is spent talking to new people or get, building new relationships or following up with people that you've talked to in the past that are prospects. 80% of our time right there. And then I, I want to encourage you with this is uh, another thing I learned is go wide fast. This is an incredible uh, three words to build your business by go wide fast. And you want to recruit as many frontline people each month as you can until you're earning at least $10,000 a month. And that's just an arbitrary number. That's just what I've seen in, uh, in my decade plus of experience is until you've got a business that's generating that kind of, you know, until you've got a, a roughly a president's team size business. You never want to stop helping new people get started and personally bringing new people in every single month. And then I just want to encourage you with this to remember that we're in the people business, but success in neo life begins as a numbers game 
and evolves into a people business. If we don't have enough people that we're prospecting and enough people that we're bringing into our business, um, it, we'll never have enough of the numbers to reach the success we're looking for. And then I want to encourage you to don't, don't make the mistake of stop recruiting. Don't stop recruiting. Don't make the mistake that results in nearly 50% of people's failures in our industry, which is building your front line for a few years and then stopping to manage the team. Again, you can't manage here. Um, you have to lead. And then um, you may be wondering, but Stephen, what about duplication? I hear all the time, like, you know, you want to go deep. You want to build deep. You know, how, how, does, how does go wide fast lead to going deep and building and duplication? And here's the, how it will allow you to build deep and have duplication. Your team, your team will do what you do. And if you're spending most of your time recruiting, your team will spend most of their time recruiting. If you spend most of your time just managing and not recruiting, they'll spend most of their time trying to manage and not recruit. So actually, this is what creates duplication and depth in your business. Because if each promoter is building their business with the, with the advice of go wide fast, and personally prospecting and recruiting, death will take care of itself over time. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is this, is, well, last, I'll give you one challenge, but the single greatest indicator of your future volume growth or decline is the current growth or decline of new promoters in your business. So this is something to always look at to gauge your business, that the single greatest growth uh, and the single greatest indicator of future growth or decline is the current growth of or decline of new promoters in your business. If I see a business who has new promoters coming in consistently, then I know that, that that's a business that's going to see growth and volume in the future. If I see a business that ha does not have promoters being brought in, new promoters being brought into Neo Life, that's a recipe that I know that that business is probably going to have a decline in volume into the future. So that's why prospecting and recruiting is so vital. And then this is a challenge I want to give this team. I want to give this team a challenge to end the year. And it's called the 30-day blitz tracker, but we're going to times it by two. And basically over the next 60 days, can you do this? Can you share Neolife products and opportunity with at least two new people each day? Can you prospect two people each day for the next 60 days straight to end this year and to go into next year stronger than ever? Now, hey, if you want to take off Thanksgiving, if you want to take off Christmas Eve and Christmas, if you want to take that, that's, that's cool. But uh, so it'll be maybe a little bit longer, but don't, don't take off many more days than that. At least prospect at least two new people every single day for the next 60 days. And I want you to look up at the beginning of the year and you will be unbelievably shocked at how full your pipeline is going into 2023. And you will have set yourself up for an opportunity to create momentum and explosion in 2023 by simply filling your pipeline full of prospects in November and December. So Bob, I hope, I think I went, a, I may have gone a little long. I am so sorry for that. I'm going to hand it back over to you, my friend. Hey, I want to thank you, Bob, for the, just the person that you are first and foremost. You're an amazing person, Bob. And second, for the leadership that you provide in Neo Life. We cannot thank you enough. So Bob, I'll hand it back to you, my friend. Okay. Stephen, you definitely did not go too long. It was refreshing. And I just want to say this. Um, so if a person is senior manager or executive manager or director or Sapphire or Ruby um, is what you're saying, they can't really delude themselves that, okay, I've arrived and this is going to stay here forever. <laughs> your, your, your message is that's delusional. I, I think that's your message that we must if we want a healthy, strong business that'll go for a long time, we it's absolutely essential. Is that that's what you're saying, right? To add new people. Absolutely, Bob. You you nailed it. And one of the reasons is, and it's just the reality of our business, and it's a reality of a hundred percent of a hundred percent of businesses around the world is a factor called attrition. That you know, mm -hmm. if we were gonna, if everybody everybody brought in stayed forever with Neo Life, well then yeah, recruiting wouldn't be that important because you'd have 100% retention. But no business in the world retains everybody they bring in. Their attrition happens. And so how you fight attrition is by you always have more people coming in the front door of your business than are going out the back door. And that's why prospecting and recruiting is, is so important. Um, and then as you build a larger and larger team, then, you know, developing leaders becomes more important maybe. But yeah, Bob, you're right. You can, you, at, at executive manager, senior manager, 
director, emerald director, sapphire, one ruby. The worst mentality you can have is, is like, oh, I've got a business. Now I'm just going to maintain it. You want to continue to add to that business every single month. So you're spot on, Bob. Okay. And that, that's just what you said is because of attrition. That's why it's delusional that because attrition happens. So we must continue. And then anyway, Stephen, the need is enormous, right? With, you know, uh, 40% get cancer and more than that, get heart disease, the need for the products. And then you were saying also um, with inflation, the need for the business is also enormous, correct? Absolutely. You, you nailed it on that. And I forgot to mention this, but, you know, there was a study done recently that 77% of people in North America um, have a high degree of interest in, in, in entrepreneurship or, you know, being able to start their own business or be able to be their own boss and earn income, you know, for themselves. And in the, in the millennials and Gen Z age, it's 91% of people. So yeah, Bob, not only do people want the, the products, the vast majority of people want to be their own boss, want to build their own business, want to have some entrepreneurship, you know, somehow. And we offer instant entrepreneurship. Okay, good, good. Well, thank you for uh, hammering that reality home to wake us up. Um, you know, we're a older business, as, as you know, very long time. And um, the temptation, of course, is to slip into management. But uh, that's good to get the wake up call that because of attrition, we all need to be adding if we want to impact people, of course, for sure. But if we want a um, nice, strong, solid, reliable business too. So Stephen, thank you so much for sharing with us. We really, really, really appreciate it. And um, a bunch of us, hopefully a lot of us will uh, step up to that, go for two a day. Um, we got to get our lists out and get those names down and, and start going for it. Okay. Well, we have another wonderful speaker. Her story is just unbelievable. Uh, she was able to retire from her full-time job thanks to the Neolife Opportunity at age 30. That's remarkable. And some people would say, well, yeah, because you, your husband was uh, had an income too, but he retired at 35. <laughs> Absolutely unheard of to have a couple both retired so young because of the Neolife opportunity. She has an incredible story. She's a great leader. She's warm. She's kind. She's wise. She's capable. She is uh, the number one dealer in all of Canada. Uh, she's the three Ruby director, successful and accomplished. You guys, let's welcome the kind, gracious Nada to come and help us a bit. So let's welcome Nada, everybody. Nada St. Germain, three Ruby. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Before I get into my story, I have to add on to what Stephen just shared because, okay. um, I, you know, 32 years in this business, Bob, I got into yeah. a little bit of man, a little bit of, can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Just make sure you can hear me. I got into like a, a, a little bit of a management mode, um, right. and, and and when when um, Stephen and Ashley introduced this talks to people a day, and I decided to take it more seriously and really listen to what they had to say because my business had grown very quickly and it plateaued. The income was steady, residual every single month, but I wanted that extra growth. And, and, and I realized that, yes, your team will do what you do. And I have made an effort, a extreme effort to, to share and talk to two people every single day over the last two months. And I have to say, I hit most days where I get two, some days one, I, I, I'm out there trying to connect with two. But I mean, I, I sponsored a new promoter yesterday, I sponsored a new member the other day. And, and I, I'm seeing the value. I have a lot of people in my pipeline, like about 70 people on my list that I've connected with. And I'm finding it's more fun because I've got people that I can keep following up with. I feel like when you stop t sharing and talking, you're just kind of helping your team, but it's not enough. It's important to be a good leader, important to help your team. But anyways, everything that Stephen shared today, I would advise you take it seriously as a leader and just run with it and have fun with it and go. And I will share that 32 years ago, I was working as a police officer. Um, you know, I was in a, in a, in a, a, a stage where I was content. 
good job, security, knew I had a pension. Um, you know, I thought being a police officer was going to be, you know, my journey for the rest of my life. But after working a few years, even just a couple of years, I realized that the time freedom wasn't there. The, the, the vision of having a family, it was kind of um, a scary time. And I thought I didn't, couldn't even imagine, um, you know, I'm starting a family with the shift work because we were both my husband and I were both working as police officers and and I watched some families where they would um, they were husband and wife teams on the force they literally would work opposite shifts so that one of the spouses could be home with their kids and I thought no that's definitely not a journey that I want you to be in but what was really neat is um, my neighbor and a dear friend shared the Neo Life products tried sharing the business. I said flat out, no way. Uh, 32 years ago, the drug selling industry was not very well respected. I didn't understand the industry. I had only heard about bad things about, you know, MLM drug selling. I didn't understand the language. I was in my 20s, very naive. And, uh, but the products intrigued me tremendously because my mom was struggling with her health. I had some health challenges with energy fatigue, especially after working shift work. And many of you um, and that were, have worked shifts, you know what that does to your body, um, mentally, emotionally, physically. I was exhausted. My hormones were, were being compromised. Um, and I was really struggling with my health. And so got on some of the supplements that I decided to give them a try that was highly recommended by my neighbor and a dear friend. And boy, what a difference. And we all know the impact the products made. I started just sharing that with family and friends. And I got really excited about just sharing the product, still not understanding the business. But as I shared with Bob yesterday, I did become a director or I did director volume in that first month, but you weren't allowed to. <laughs> it was a different kind of marketing system where my, my upline had to hold my points over and giving give them to me in my second month. And that doesn't happen now because the, the way they changed the system, but it was quite interesting. I didn't understand what was going on. I was just sharing, but was really cool is my mom, my sister, my aunts, my neighbors, some coworkers, they all wanted to try the products, especially when they saw the impact that it made. And that's all I wanted. I thought, okay, maybe a little tax savings at the end of the year, but boy, let me tell you after that first month, um, I was really curious about where this could go. And we decided to drive to Nashville. Um, my neighbor and her upline gourd, we got in his car, we drove to Nashville. There was a convention happening in July. So May I started, June I became director, July I went to Nashville, met uh, Jeannie Aldridge, Fred and Jean Aldridge, met Dr. Arthur first. I was blown away. I thought, wow, this is why these products work. And I saw an opportunity where I thought maybe this is where I could have my time freedom because that's what my job did not give me. I wanted to be home, wanted to start a family. We wanted to buy a home in the country. Um, and we just didn't know how we would do that, especially working right downtown in the city. Um, you know, the commute, um, you know, from the north where we wanted to purchase a house. Um, it would have been a long drive, but we did. We decided after a few years of, of working our Neolife business part-time, we did move to the country uh, far up north, knowing that one day I'd be able to leave my police career. And because the, the commute was was quite uh, quite far. Um, in some mornings I have to get up at or leave at 4 a.m. to be at work for 5.30 in the morning. And uh, I did it, it knowing that I had this vision, I had this goal of eventually leaving that job, starting a family and having the time freedom, the flexibility that I really wanted. Um, but if it wasn't for the team, the consistency, going to every event, um, I was very fortunate that all our team events were within a 20 minute radius of our home when we were living in Brampton. But when we moved to the country, I still went two nights a week to every team meeting, every Tuesday, every Thursday, whether snowstorm, ice storm, rain, <laughs> no matter what was going on, I was driving to those team meetings. And that is one thing that if, if there's any advice that I could give you is are the events. And we're so fortunate now that 
we have these virtual events. You're, all, you're not always having to drive and, and get together. But if you do have a local team, it's very important to still get together with your team. We grew our business around gatherings, around sharing meals and recipes and enjoying time together, building relationships. We really created that family unit, our second family which I think is the power of this business because you're building incredible relationships. It's not just about making money. It's not just about building a business. How you do that is by building relationships, building friendships, and they're lifelong friendships. So I have people from 32 years ago that we still get together. We still travel together. We host events together. Um, and that is the beauty of this business. We work together as a team. We have fun. We share. Um, and it's a journey that um, that has been incredible um, over the last 32 years. So go to the events. Um, you know, one thing that um, I, I've always um, shared with my team is, for example, the Monday leadership calls. Try to get on live. And I know it's hard for some, some people that are working, but even if you can go on after and listen to the recordings, you know, it's really important to stay in tune um, to keep that moment, momentum going. I find it's like, um, you know, recharging your battery. You need to recharge your battery regularly. And that's really important because we do get the nose. We get the negativity. You know, when I had all, you know, those 60 people on my um, blitz and I couldn't get anybody to say yes, you know, for the first two weeks, I was like, man, you know, <laughs> how, do, how do you stay positive? How do you stay motivated? Well, get together like this, you know, continue with the team meetings, continue with, you know, um, doing your one-on-ones or doing your health talks and getting together with your team on a regular basis to keep that momentum and the positivity happening. And then when you do get that person that says yes, that just kind of gives you that refueling um, so that you, you keep going, you keep sharing, you keep talking. But adding people to your list of names is key. And I have to say, 32 years ago, we had an incentive called the 3 and 30. Now, if you remember the 3 and 30 pin, right? Well, my neighbor and I, Flo and Robin, we got our 3 and 30 every single day that first year that we joined our Neolife business. And that's why we became directors very quickly. And, and then I think back then, the, the 10,000 PV was called... Um, Oh, it, it wasn't called uh, Sapphire. It was, it, there was other titles, a, a Diamond Key or something like that, I think it was called. Do you remember, Bob? Anyways, um, so it was really cool having these incentives, but doing the three and 30 was key. And now that Stephen and Ashley have brought in that 30-day blitz, um, talking to two people every day it reminds me of what it took for me to get to director, to stay consistent and develop other directors. And the key is that uh, is that three and thirty. So just wanted wanted to share that with you. Um, and I know Bob, you wanted me to share a tool that I'm using. Is that correct yes, on the yes. um, the shop part? Okay. Yeah. Any anything yeah, you want me great. to add before I close in that department? Before I go over to the to that little bit of a training, Bob? Well, um, yes. If you, Natalie, if you could um, tell us, you know, like because I'm not on Facebook a lot actually, but I used to be more. And I noticed that you guys would have so many um, <clears throat> team gatherings and lots of food. And um, the food, I, uh, Emma Jo Krause, remember Emma Jo? Yeah. Uh, she, she told me that the food is real important because when people eat, they visit and they bond and um, yeah. so on. So um, would you just have a regular training meeting, but there'd be food there? Because I mean, the purpose in your life is not only eat together, you know, you yeah. want to impart <laughs> You want to impart a certain agenda, product information or sales information or events coming. How, how did you do that? You just uh, have a regular meeting, but food is there as well? Yeah, or? like every uh, every a month then, kind of like what you're doing with your gathering of champions, we would do it on a Friday evening and make it a social event as well um, and get together. We make it a potluck. And, wow. and it's so much fun because our team is quite international. So you get, you're getting foods from Trinidad. You're getting food like different recipes from Singapore. And my background's Croatian. So I would make like an eggplant Parmesan that's very European based. So we really gathered um, around great healthy foods, which is, again, that, that just brings you together as, as a family. So we do 
get together quite often uh, for things like that, for socials. But the but the gathering of champions is a great time to have a social. And for those people that can't can't come on, uh, oh sorry, in person, we would bring them in virtually, kind of like what you're doing uh, right now. But we would actually do a do a, um, a per, in person event while other people that can't join us would would join us um, virtually. Um, but yeah, we do get together for things like that, which is really important. So it, it is a regular normal meeting, but uh, you might gather to eat first and that helps bond people and unify them and, and then launch into a normal meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, anybody else have anything they want to ask Nada before she transitions to something else? She's going to show us some things on uh, ordering. Uh, yeah, so Bob asked me, because I know you'd heard about, uh, just want to make her sure, because sometimes it times out. I might have to go back into my dashboard again. Give me one second. Okay. Um, yeah, looks like, can you see my screen now? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, sorry, let me just double check. The little uh, thing on top is making, uh, where is it here? Sorry. Yeah, it does. It, it uh, times you out after a while. I didn't realize that. Hang on a second here. I okay. guess that's. But uh, this is a tool, Bob, that, um, you know, when, when Ashley and, um, and Stephen um, launched this, I think it was Jamie uh, Summers that said, you know, this is what she does to help her team place orders because sometimes you'll get some people that say oh I, I really want mm -hmm. to um, um, get started but um, can you just do it for me or can you just order order this for me and um, and I thought hmm you know it, it's a pain because you want them to, to to do it themselves so they can see how the system works right and when Jamie said like with the company she was at before, they had the system in place where you literally just create the cart of what you think they would like to get started with. You send them the link and then all they have to do is put their a name, address and, and credit card information. I have been doing this a lot. So for example, <laughs> someone today said to me that I have somebody that wants to order um, um Pro Vitality, the Vitality Pack, and Upbeat. So I say, you know what? Let me create the order, and I'll send you. I'll send it to you. So the way you do this, you go into your back office, and you log in as as you're going to place an order. Okay. So the key thing is you click Shop, Shop Products. So you've logged into your back office. Okay, this is somebody that you you're going to send this to. And when they order the product, they're signing up directly under you. Okay, as a member or a promoter, but they pick and choose. So, um, so she wanted a vitality pack. So you click on learn more. Oops, where is it here? Come on. Okay, and you add it to cart. So you add that to cart. And then they wanted, oh, sorry. Then you go to the shop shopping cart. Hold on, I gotta move my little. So see the little icon where there's a little shopping cart? I've got one thing in there. Yeah. You click on that little cart and it shows you the Vitality solution. Okay, so I've got one in there, but I wanna continue shopping. I wanna add the upbeat because she also asked for the upbeat. So I continue shopping. And now I'm going to add, go to the A to Z, um, and I'm going to add the upbeat. Okay, so go to upbeat. I'm going to add to cart. So I've added that to the cart. So I go back to that little shopping cart there. Okay. So instead of clicking checkout, because I'm not ordering this, I'm going to save and share the cart. You see that little save and share? Yeah. Okay. You click on that, Bob, and then I okay. put in, and then I, I'm going to say this is for Lucy. So I'm going to put Lucy's name in here. Um, oops, hang on. Sorry. 
So this is for, I'm gonna save this. Okay, now what I do at this point, I copy. So see a little copy, little copy uh, link. I copy. Okay. I copy the link. Okay, so it's copied. So now what I do is I go to my emails. I'm going to email this to you, Bob, so you can see what it looks like. Okay. I go to my email. I'm going to compose just a regular email, and now I'm going to paste it in my email. I pasted that link in my email, and I'm sending it to you, Bob. Wow. Wow. Okay. So now when you get this link, I'm just going to say, hello, here's here are the two products you wanted to try. So when they get this link, okay, so I'm going to stop the share now. So when they get that link, they're going to see, it, they're going to have an option sign up as a member, promoter, right? It's going to say, hey, do you want to save? And they decide if they want to become a member, promoter, or buy retail. And then all they have to do is click on club member. And I tell them ahead of time, you know, if you want the discount, make sure you click on club member. If you want to be looking at the business, then look at the promoter uh, position. They click on club member. It shows them wholesale um, or retail. Right, if, if they're on Neoship, it says if you go on Neoship, you get wholesale price. They click and all they have to do is put in their address and payment information. It's so all set up. And what I find, the reason why I find this is helpful is sometimes let's say they want aloe. I've had people go in and order aloe gel by accident. I don't know if you've ever had that because they're not familiar with the, with the product, what it looks like. So this way, this is great for people that are not that computer savvy and they're kind of nervous and they, 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 they don't know where to go or they're not used to ordering online. Most, like, most people you can say, here, here's my website, tell them what to do. They go on and they order and they're ready to roll. Um, but there's some people that are like, oh, you know, I, I, I don't, I'm not really that crazy. I don't, I'm not really sure how to do this. And I was like, don't worry, I'll create the link. I've done that several times and it's so great. So any questions on that? Does that, does that make sense for you, Rob? Did that, did that look clear yeah. enough? Yeah, yeah. And uh, any, anybody else have a question on that? No, the that's, a, that, that's very helpful, Nada. That's very, because we get people like that and you go through the whole thing and you write it. I just did that for someone in Canada and I had to write out everything. So now when I'm finished, I am going to just go back and just send that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, so it, it, and you know what, the more you do it, I would just say, even just go in and practice, practice and send it to yourself. <laughs> just so you can, just so you can see, but it's so fast. Like the first time I was like fumbling, I'm like, oh, oh, how come I can't add more that I, I kept forgetting that I had to go to the cart, the little cart and the click on the little cart and you can add more. And you can tell them that they can add, edit, right there let's say they decide oh no i don't want the vitality i kind of want that breakfast solution they can just go in and edit it right there and add more stuff to their to their order and now that this is so uh when you send them the link then all they have to do is put in their address and credit card basically is that right yeah or add more product if they want or take off a product if they want it's all around the discussion that you've had. Like I said, this lady yesterday said, oh, I really want the vitality and that upbeat. And I said, okay, great. I'll create the link and I'll send it to you and uh, just put in your address and your credit card information. I said, just make sure you click on, on Neil Ship and club member. That's it. That's all they have to remember. Okay, okay. very good. <clears throat> all right, well, since we have, uh, you know, to show what the Neil Life Opportunity can do, um, Nada, would be one of the best examples. I'm thinking Nada and Charlotte Shelton because um, you know Nada was able to replace two incomes. That's really impressive because many couples have have two income earners, and she's able to replace both with her business. It's phenomenal. But you know about the biggest purchase we can make is property, a home, acreage, and so on. And Nada was actually able to get country property, uh, beautiful log home. Uh, Char Chuck and Charlotte.
Charlotte went from uh, lots of bills and debt, no money really, because you know they're underwater, negative uh, in debt, and were able to purchase a ranch uh, with cash. So you guys, uh, here's examples. Um, <clears throat> Neil Lifers, who's been able to purchase uh, the biggest uh, investment you could make a home with from their Neil Life business, and then even replace the job income. Um, you know, I had a very elite job when I started. I was a hydrothermal engineer, as you guys know, working in the restaurant industry, which means I was a dishwasher. So it didn't take too long to uh, replace that income. But, you know, what Nata mentioned uh, was extremely attractive to me. She mentioned uh, freedom, you know, time freedom and flexibility and being able to work the hours she wanted. And here, you know, I've provided that. That's, that's one thing I've treasured as well. Um, you know, I never have to ask permission for a day off or a week off or a month off or whatever, but I'm becoming much more mindful uh, to be in phase one building phase. And now that you sounds like you concur too, that is very important uh, because if we coast and coast and coast, if the business is big enough, it'll, it'll, it'll be able to do that for a while. But eventually, is, is not very true now that what Stephen was saying about attrition is going gonna, gonna to drop eventually. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep adding. And then also, if you have, um, you know, four or five or six directors in your team, and you're adding a couple of people or three people a month, and they're doing the same, then yeah. the, the adding will be greater than losing the people, right? Okay. And that's where the yeah. growth happens. So your team will do what you do. And I and I've really uh, noticed that over the last, I would say, six to seven months and um it's really important as leaders that that we do and and your team will do and follow what you're doing and and it, it's more fun it really is more fun when, when your team signs up a new club member and you know it's so exciting or a new promoter and you cheer them on and, and then other people see you know what they're doing and it's um it, it's really fun and, and it's an inspiration um as you're sharing and, and caring and Nada, when you when you have an appointment, how long would it generally last? Do you do them in person very often? Or are they all on Zoom? Or and how long would it take you when you're you know doing a Neil like appointment typically? I you know I do a lot over Zoom, but now that we're able to get together, if they're local, um, I love getting together with people at a local coffee shop and about an hour because usually people have about an hour lunch break or you know they don't have a lot. They're very busy. Um, but even over Zoom, I, anywhere between 30, 30 minutes to an hour. But one thing that's been working really well with some of my uh, promoters is um, through just a three-way messenger on video and, and not necessarily doing a presentation. Um, one of my um, um, promoters, Serena, she, she loves just doing three-way messengers. And we've signed up probably most of her uh, club members just over talking over video chats just sharing stories and then you know and then they they come on and they'll come on to one of our health talks or they'll they'll watch some of the videos and we usually get them started right then and there so um that's been working really well the video chats but then we the discover mores we do our own at eight o'clock on tuesdays and then there's a nine o'clock right after so i find that some of the some of my you know prospects they like to come on early at eight and some have children, they wait till their kids go to bed and they come on at nine when Ashley and, and Stephen do them. So I'm constantly inviting people to the Discover Moors, um, which is our, which we used to call our basic health talk, right? So we, we actually call it a health and uh, wealth solution. So that's what we're doing as well. It's very similar to the Discover More. Um, and every Thursday we do our health talk and it's a specific talk. So last night, um, or for a Thursday night, we did it on children's and immunity because there's a lot of viruses going around with kids. And and uh, I do a lot of video interviews um, on YouTube, uh, Bob. They're like two minutes and I, and I save them and then I upload them to the PowerPoint presentation. So I had uh, a few people sharing, sharing their kids' testimonials if they can't come on live. And uh, so I do use a lot of video. Video is powerful when it comes to testimonials and, and sharing, but it's gotta be short short and uh, to the point. Okay. Okay. And can you, so you have a health talk every Thursday and that's on Every Zoom. Thursday we've been doing that. Um, oh, for since COVID, I guess three years now, every single Thursday. And what's nice is we just keep rotating them. So we do digestion, 
we'll do immunity, cancer, joint pain, mental health. Um, and then we'll do specific just omega-3 or, or just probiotics. Like we have a bunch of different PowerPoint presentations that we just every, you know, we just keep cycling them over every six to eight, eight weeks. And we just keep repeating them because there's always new people coming on board and, and joining our joining our talks. And those are company uh, PowerPoints? No, we, we've created them ourselves. Okay, wow. We do, I mean, I have to say we do pull some of the slides that are in the back office, but then we add, we add our own stuff too, and then add our own testimonials and yeah. And is that a half hour meeting, Nada? The Thursday ends up being an hour because there's a lot of information when you're looking at, and, and our, our guests know it's a little more intense and the people that are coming on, they usually have uh, challenges, like for example, for kids' health, um, we had so many people share stories and testimonials and, and there's a lot of information that um, we can't keep it under um, like under an hour. It's, it's hard to do, but they know that we tell them it's an hour. The, the, the basic introduction that they discover more in the health talks on Tuesdays are 30 minutes that we've got down pat. And we tell them it's only 30 minutes because they're just being introduced. The Thursdays, they, they, they want to know more. How can I help, you know, my child that has asthma? How can I, you know, help my mom that has severe, you know, arthritic pain? So there's a more, more information, more science, more detail. Okay. So um, you talk about- like the... Don Lawson, like, kind of like a mini Don Lawson, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So Thursday is quite intense uh, product information every Thursday, about an hour on, on Zoom, I think you said. Yeah. Okay, and then you talked about the leadership call. That's with Ashley or Stephen Mondays, uh, yeah. nine West Coast time on Facebook, right? Yeah. Um, okay, and then uh, Nada, could you tell us about Discover More? What that is? The Ashley and Stephen they do that. Uh, they were doing it a couple of times a week, and it's just a basic overview on who we are, what we do, um, and it just focuses on on the breakfast solution cleaners um skincare but very brief more on the neo life difference but but it's also like looking at the business so they're, they're targeting health solutions and wealth solutions so it's a balance okay. between product have you not seen one yet bob i have not i just found out about it i guess i'm out of the loop i just found out about it at the world team event um David highly Marshall. recommend highly recommend jump on tuesday at nine with ashley um I highly recommend that you invite people to that event that are looking at Neolife. They don't know what it is really. Um, and they just want a really quick overview. And I just say, just see if it's a fit for you. I said, they're going to cover a bit on health, a bit on, on income opportunity. Just check it out and see what we do. Okay. That's what I tell and people when I invite them. That, just check it out and see what we do. Okay. Is that a, um, it's a 30 minute you said, and is it, um, is it on Facebook Wisdom Builders? Is that where they find it? No, no, no. This is Stephen and Ashley. They send it in. There's a link. There's a link. Actually, you know what? Um, I'll send it to you in a text. And it's the same link they use all the time. But there's a schedule oh. that they posted in the messenger group. Are you are you in the business builder or in the messenger group on WhatsApp? Is that WhatsApp? No, I, maybe I'll get that loaded because I, I heard David and Marcy talking about that. And that's where all this information is and so on. Every, they, they've created a world team group in WhatsApp, World Team North okay. America. And that's where they share yeah. most of the updates for World Team. Um, okay. But then also in the Business Builder group, um, they post a lot of stuff as well. And is that the, that's the Facebook one, the Business yeah. Builder? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right. Well, Nada, thank you so much. I, I have uh, one question for Nada, Bob, if you don't mind, before she sure. skip along. Um, when you okay. do the Discover More on the Tuesday at eight o'clock for the earlier one, is you get a recording from the previous one? And no, I, I do it. I do it live. You do it I, live. I've, I've asked Ashley to send me. Um, don't say anything. You can reach out. Oh, okay, to her don't face. worry. I, okay, I got it. I got just it. Just ask her. It. Just ask her. Ask her. Yes. She'll send it to you. Yes. Okay. And I added. I added a little more. Um, um, a little more on the grains and the grain oils in that presentation as a lead-in. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can send it to you, Barbara, if you like. 
Yes, please. I would really appreciate okay. that. And that one, you play the one at eight o'clock. You play. You played over and over every Tuesday. That particular one for I the discussion. I just use the PowerPoint. You just use the PowerPoint we every do Tuesday. The actual, we do the presentation. Yeah, okay. we, just like what Ashley and Stephen do, we do the presentation. Okay. I'll, I'll, say, I'll send you what we do, and you can edit it and then change the slides if you I like. I would love that. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. So mess in Messenger, send me your email address. Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you, Nada, so very much, you guys. Let's give her a big hand. We appreciate it. Uh, being able to learn from you, Nada, and we admire your, awesome. your successful business and all you've achieved helping people and the time freedom and living in the country is just, and uh, connecting so many people in your team. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And, and I have to go into town. I ordered some new glasses and because uh, I haven't talked to my two people today. So I'm going to go talk to two people in town today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Nat. And you have a yeah. wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, okay. Bye. Thank you. Okay, you guys. So now we're just going to uh, go to recognition because we appreciate the uh, major contribution of all these people here. So well, before uh, we go to well, before we go to recognition, can I just interrupt a little bit? Yes. Do you have a birthday call or something? Or yes, David, you want to? Good day. <laughs> yes, I would like to say, in in uh, <laughs> not so much in words, but everybody can help me with this. To singing "Happy Birthday," so here we go. To who? Happy or, birthday to who's the birthday? To who's the birthday? You. Well, we're who's gonna the... name. Oh yeah, well it's Mary. <laughs> Very and fun. 21 today. <laughs> so here we go. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy, Happy birthday to you. you. And many more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, and for Forever 21. Okay. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. David, you need to make some uh, recordings. Um, I don't excellent. know about that, Bob. <laughs> I've heard thank, my voice thank. recorded. <laughs> okay, well, we appreciate it. Thank you, and Mary, happy birthday to you. Thank you, thank you. Happy birthday, Mary. Yes, you're thank a, you. Uh, you're a, you're a very to blessed today. Thank you very much. You're a blessing to our team, and we enjoyed getting to meet you at convention and look forward yes. to next one, too. Yes. Happy birthday. Okay, well, you guys, well, one last comment, two last comments. One is uh, please uh, get registered for uh, World wisdom builder wb retreat virtual.com um so that you can watch live because this is a really top rapidly growing team their last team retreat they had 120 and now they have 100 150 signed up for this one is that incredible so um this is a rapidly growing team you want to be watching w wb retreat virtual.com and then you'll get the recordings also for at least 90 days. I think it'll be longer than that. But anyway, that's one. And then uh, we'll be doing product training at 11. I already mentioned that. So here we go with our, our thanks, Thanksgiving to all these wonderful people who've chipped in and helped. Uh, Bethany and Josh Deagles at 997. Uh, Chelsea Levitt, she's a step up, you guys. She made 1,013 PV, brand new senior manager. That's, that's thrilling. Then Brent and Ramona to Chester at 1116. Thank you, Brent and Ramona. Uh, Josh and Sam Kramer at 1247. Uh, Janet and Kevin Cornelius at uh, 1628. Jolene Cox up in Portland at uh, 2024. Lisa Hansen down in Mexico, 2070. Mark Ritchie in Iowa, 2229. Allison Wilson, in uh, New York, uh, Barbara's team, 2,267. And now we're at directors. We have Claudette Cyrus at 4,126. 
uh, she's definitely experienced residual income. She hasn't been involved for several years, and yet she's still getting some nice fat checks. Did over 4,000 last month, not even involved uh, really. Then Janice Grange, 4,570 PV. Gina Ellis in Wisconsin, that's the Hanson team, 5,156. That's Car Allowance, that's wonderful. Marilee Blomberg, 5,183. Debbie Musack and John Chambers down in Grants Pass. They are in number seven with 5,246 PV. Uh, Victor Pearson, number six, 5,332. Leslie Hansen, number five, 5,840. Barbara Chichester in number four with 6,084. Thank you, Barbara. Then in number three, we have Jamie and Carol Wilson, 8,043. Hang on one second. Okay, so uh, Jamie and Carol, 8,043, that is awesome. And then Daniel Hansen, uh, 8,099. And in number one is Stephanie Beckett with 10,006 points. So you guys give those a hand and uh, appreciate all they contribute. That's a tremendous contribution. We're very, very grateful for each one of those. And now we'll go to team volume. We have uh, five that were world team, uh, Sapphires and up um, last month. So in number five, Barbara Chichester with 10,209 points. Give her a big hand, you guys. That's excellent. And then uh, in number four, Debbie Muzak, John Chambers in Southern Oregon, 13,289 points. Give them a big hand. And uh, then we have uh, in number three, Leslie Hansen, 19,095 points. Very good. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, number two, Victor Pearson, 25,547 points. Very good. And then in the number one position for team volume, uh, Marilee Blomberg. Uh, she's, a, she's a third generation Neil Lifer. That's my sister. She has uh, my dad's team as dad is with the Lord now. And their volume, uh, Marilee's volume, 49,805, give her a hand. So there's a, a great team with two strong legs in there. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much. We, we all benefited from Stephen and Nada, and we appreciated uh, getting to see Lisa from Mexico uh, tell about being world, her first world team trip, hopefully first of many. And uh, we're grateful for every one of you, tremendously grateful for each of you. And uh, those of you who want more product training, we're going to go over about six products uh, at 11. So we'll look forward to seeing you then. And thank you so much for coming. And you guys, next next uh, VOC, uh, Barbara and I and several others meet every Wednesday at 5.30 West Coast time. It's, it's been on personal development. It's about a 30 minute, 30 to 40 minute meeting on personal development. And then our next team meeting, uh, Kendra will be with us, which is the first Saturday in December. Okay, so you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being part, a very significant part of our team. Very, very, very significant. Thank you all. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see some of you again at 11. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Bob. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Happy birthday, Mary. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. that. Thank you. Bye, Bob. Bye. Thank you for singing, David. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mary. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye Jamie. Bye. 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 Who all was at your house? You want to know who all was at? Oh, too late. Too late, I oh, think. Okay. Okay. Well, there you are. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, Preston and Rick and Barb and Jenny are here. And of course, my, my boss, Carol. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, you're a top trainer. And um, Rick and Barb, yeah. how, did, they, did they have about 1,500? Rick and Barb yes, and uh, Jenny was around 17. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
So congratulations, you guys. That's a massive contribution. And we're praying for Rick and Barb uh, get over 2,000. Um, did you guys get some ideas, hopefully? We're working on them. Okay. That's, good, that's what we're going to do between now and, and uh, 11 o'clock. Okay, good. Okay. I'll, I'll let you guys go. Good to see everybody. Uh, thank you, Daniel, for hosting us. Thank you very, very much. Yep. You're welcome. Thanks for all you contributed last month, too. Bye, Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Uh, Daniel's 27.